them along, emerging now at the top of the track. As they begin now to descend and make their way on towards fence number one, it's Roy to me who has the advantage, Davy Russell, bidding for a quick double here in the Jigginstown House colours, being chased through the early part of the race by Imperial Shabra racing wide. Right behind them is Cotto Stone with just outside this one blazing tempo. Slight mistake, blazing tempo and Saludos who just stepped away from the tape when they jumped away is now the back marker. So they come down now to make their way on towards fence number two. And it's Roy de who leads, being followed on the outside by Imperial Shabra. In between them is Cotto Stone, about two lengths down. Just outside this one is Blazing Tempo, and Saludus is the back marker. So they come now to make their way on towards fence number two. And over in front, Roy de Mee leads them on from on the near side, Imperial Shabra. Cotto Stone racing third towards the inside. Saludus a little closer now in company with Blazing Tempo back marker. This will be the last next time. Roy Me just puts down, gets away from it. From on the near side, Imperial Shabra. Cotto Stone just coming now to join. And this trio come up to pass the stands in front of Saludus and Blazing Tempo. But it's Roy Me marginally passes the post with the advantage as they turn now to make their way on towards fences four and five. Roy Me leads from in second spot. Cotto Stone, change of rider. Paul Carberry now on board. And they're being followed by Imperial Shabra, who's just on the outside under John Cullen. And Roy Demi was a little awkward over that one. Saludos on the inside. Now the man of Davy Condon. And the back marker is Blazing Tempo and Paul Townend. Quickly onto the first of the regulation fences. And Roy Demi has been taken on and headed now by, at that one, Cotto Stone has taken over. Back in third, Imperial Shabra. Saludos last but one. And the back marker, Blazing Tempo. So they've jumped five making their way in short towards the turn, bringing them into the back straight towards fences six and seven. And it's Cotto Stone with the advantage by two to Roy Demi on the inside of Imperial Shabra. And they're being followed by Saludos and Blazing Tempo, the back pair. So making their way into the back now, Cotto Stone having his first run for the Paul Nichols camp, who has won this race in each of the last three seasons. The Nightingale, who we saw run so well in the James Nicholson, here comes the truth, and Nolan, the last three years, the winners, and now Cotto Stone bidding to make it a four-timer. Goes on in a good jump there by four lengths to in second. Roy Me for Gordon Elliott and Davy Russell. On the outside is Imperial Shabra for Oliver Brady and John Cullen. Then towards the inside, Saludus, Davy Condon, Jessica Harrington, and at the back of the field is Blazing Tempo for Willie Mullins and Paul Townend. They're well on their way over the back straight now, and it's Cotto Stone who leads from in second spot on the inside, Roy Me, who's joined by Imperial Shabra just outside. And this trio are being followed by Saludos and Blazing Tempo, the back pair. So on the approach now, towards the next, and it's Cotto Stone, just over a mile from home, comes to it, driven into it. He's jumping very well in front, this leader. Goes on by about five to in second, Roy Me, who still races in company with Imperial Shabra. They're being followed by Blazing Tempo, and Saludus remains the back marker. They're about to disappear from view now. There are five fences left to be jumped, and it's Cotto Stone with up on the outside, Imperial Shabra, inside Roy Me. Right behind them is Blazing Tempo. Again, a good jump, the leader there as they begin to climb now to make their way on towards the fourth last, reappearing out now, and it's Cotto Stone who has the advantage by a couple of lengths to three from in second spot on the inside, Roy Me, just outside, a shake of the reins now for Imperial Shabra, and they're being followed by Blazing Tempo and Saludus they're the back pair as they make their way on the approach now towards fourth from the finish, Cotto Stone inside of in second spot, Roy Me, Imperial Shabra just drops back a length or two, Saludus and Blazing Tempo wait their turn as they make their way on now, close up to the fourth last, and another he asks for another big one, just goes in a little tight, Cotto Stone there, but loses no ground and second is Roy Demi. Saludos is right on his tail in third and Blazing Tempo just beginning to take an interest as Imperial Shabra drops back to be the back marker. They're at the top of the hill now. Down they come with three to jump and it's Cotto Stone who's put it up to them throughout. Lands in front. Bad mistake, Saludos. From its second is Roy Demi behind Cotto Stone. Down the hill they come. Cotto Stone still travelling strongly in front. Roy Demi is second. Back in third, Saludos is ridden. Blazing Tempo is ridden and Imperial Shabra can't go with them. Down they come on the Ladbrokes.com chase and it's Cotto Stone. Paul Carberry takes a look around he sees Davy Russell hard at work this time reverse rolls from the previous contest Paul Carberry in front now it's Cotto Stone gets flicks the top of it so does Roy Demi Saludas blading tempo and they head now to make their way towards the final fence and it's Cotto Stone who just goes on by three to four as they make their way towards the final fence Cotto Stone none too tidy in front doesn't matter he's got a few lengths in hand in any case and as they race up towards the line it is Cotto Stone who follows in the footsteps of Nolan here comes the truth and the Nightingale Paul Nichols has farmed this race for the last four years the grade two Labbrooks.com chase Cotto Stone as impressive as any has gone before him in second is Roy Demi blading 
blazing tempo is third. Saludos is four. Final finish of the five, Imperial Shabra. Yeah,